Good evening, everyone out there in the YouTube modeling world. How's everybody doing tonight? Happy Halloween to everybody. Uh, Caleb is out with his mom tonight, trick or treating. They're out at friends, some friends of hers. So I thought I'd give you a update on Mr. Gasser. Uh, I've got the car part of it done. I don't have the diorama done yet. That's going to that's gonna take a little bit of time. Um, but I'm going to give you an update on that and tell you some of the problems that I had with it. Uh, I think it came out pretty cool though. I like it. Definitely different. I have not seen another Mr. Gasser like this one anywhere on YouTube that I've seen. So gave it the Dr. Cranky treatment. But anyways, and then at the end, we're going to have a little, kind of like a little guessing game. See if you can guess Papa Dan's next build. So let me flip the camera around here and I'll show you Mr. Gasser and we'll talk about him for a couple of minutes. And then I'll show you the guessing game. Hold on. Alrighty, here is Mr. Gasser after he has undergone the Dr. Cranky treatment with the exhaust pipes and then I added the flames coming out of them. Now I still don't have Mr. Gasser glued in there yet because of the fact that it'll be easier to build the uh, the diorama without him in it and I'll show you why here in just a second but that's what the exhaust pipes look like made out of straws and the uh, the white this white piece of paper right here that's going to be the shape of the uh, the base for the diorama so that's how big it's going to be. It's not going to be very big. So let me, uh, oh, real quick before I move Mr. Gasser here, I have gone in, like uh, Chris from Classic Plastic had left the comment, and uh, I believe it was Chris, uh, Speed Demon, and Tommy. I know you guys had all given me the uh, suggestion to use the future on his eyes and on his tongue and in his mouth and I've started doing that I've put uh, one coat on it so far I don't know if you can really tell it or not but so I have started to do that and before I move them the uh, I know I had mentioned in my last video that the reason I wanted his hair looking like it was flames because my original idea was to have the side pipes here um, have these side pipes come all the way up and have the flames coming out of them and possibly you know touching the side of his hair so it looked like on both sides so it would look like his hair would had actually caught fire but after playing with it for a while that that just didn't look right I, I didn't like that at all it looked way too out of scale it looked too busy so that's when I decided to, to cut them down to the size that they are now but it still ties in his hair with the with the flames coming out of the out of the pipes. So let me move Mr. Gasser here. And just set you over there, bud. And I'll give you a close up here. Now a couple of problems that I did have um, with the using the straws is painting them. I wanted them white 
so I just used a white uh, primer but once you put the paint on them that very very easy to crack the paint uh, when you're uh, moving the, the pipes or even just touching them I mean I've got an example here that I can show you I can get it in the camera here this is one that I had painted and you can see how it just I mean you just touch it and it it just flakes right off you can like see that right there you can see how easy that that flakes off so I'm not real sure how to um, how to combat that I mean I I don't know maybe a better primer obviously but the, another idea that I had had that might make it a little better was to stiffen up the pipes um, or the straws uh, stiffen them up so that they're not quite so um, pliable maybe coat them with a, a thin coating of glue first to stiffen them up or put something down inside of them to, sti to stiffen them up but and then uh, so you can see probably on this far one here let me get my pointer out so I don't use my big old fingers but right in here is where I had a problem and right down in here and even though you know I try to get that centered um, I used Mr. Dissolve Putty around the edges here because the the tips of these actually came in the kit uh, if you can see it on the picture here they're they're supposed to be just sticking out from the it's just the tips there's no actual exhaust pipes with this kit but um, so just the tips of these stick out from underneath the car so I use that inside you know I put them down inside of the straw and uh, glued them in, use super glue to glue those in. And then I was trying to use a mis the Mr. Dissolve putty to kind of like fill the seam there a little bit so they so it wasn't quite so noticeable. But when I did and I tried to sand it is when the the paint started flaking off on me. So anyways that's I mean I, I got it covered and it doesn't look too bad I don't think the the flames I just used a real thin uh, plastic sheet and traced over some flame pictures that I had from uh, my woodworking patterns and then got them cut out I've actually got a uh, stencil cutter that I can cut plastic with and that's what I use to to actually cut them out of the plastic and then I just use sharpies a red orange and yellow sharpie to uh, color them with and then use the uh, well I painted the inside of the the inside of the tips the exhaust tips I painted black and then uh, just use the super glue to glue the flames into place. And yes, I, I did want these different. Um, they didn't come out exactly the way I wanted them to because of the fact that, you know, Mr. Gasser is kind of a whimsical type model and everything. So I didn't want everything perfect. I, I did want them a little different, which is why you can see that they're not you know they're not lined up which is what I wanted so and as far as attaching them to the bottom of the car all I'd used was uh, super glue and just super glued them to the bottom now one thing I would do differently um, is the as you can see the straws are still round on the bottom if I was to do this again, I would, where I'm attaching it, 
to the bottom down here, like right about where my thumb is there, I would actually cut the straw in half and so it had a flat spot to it instead of being round because that would have been a whole lot easier to glue on there than what the uh, than what the round the round straw was because it kept wanting to roll on me as I was trying to hold it still until the super glue dried so and as far as the the diorama goes what I have planned for it is like I was telling you it's going to be kind of a grassy dirt grassy type scene here on on the top of the base and I'm gonna have the car raised up probably something along those lines right about there so that the front tires are up off of the ground I'll just put a, a wire through the the back part of the car there underneath the bumper where you won't probably won't even see it if I can get enough uh, get enough grass being you know um, being chewed up and strewn you know going back this way I can hide the hide the wire in the grass without a problem but have some smoke coming out from the tires or something like that but yeah it's going to be up off of the base about that high so that's what I plan on doing there and that's what I have left to do but that's my attempt at the uh, Dr. Cranky challenge how to use a straw in your in your modeling so thanks for the idea doc I really appreciate it I, I like the way it came out I think it looked really cool and like I said I I have not seen another Mr. Gasser like this so he's he's definitely unique which is what I was looking for that's why I that's why I, I had done the flesh tone instead of the green that's why I painted his hair like like the flames and everything you know the flame color so that's my Dr. Crankified Mr. Gasser now the guessing game I'm gonna show you a little bit of a picture and see if you can guess what my next build is going to be my next build is probably not going to be um, until after the first of the year until after the holidays because as of Sunday uh, I switched to a midnight shift and I'll be working six days a week probably 60 70 maybe even 80 hours a week I don't know but it, it's gonna go crazy I mean it, it's already getting crazy and it's gonna get crazier so I'm not gonna have probably any time here at the bench I I'll be watching videos and I'll be commenting on videos but that's probably about all I'll have I, I will have time for boy you just can't talk tonight um, so but this will be probably after the the first of the year when I get started on this one I may tinker a bit with a bit with it we'll have to see how things go at work so anyways let's take a look at a picture here and see if you can tell me what it is I'll try and move this one light around so hopefully it'll light it up a little bit better Who can tell me what that is? Is it maybe a rusty cap challenge from Dr. Cranky? Possibly looks like it might be a rusty cap. Let's see if you can tell me what that is. So, okay. Anyways, that's about it for my update tonight. I'll keep this short and uh, don't let all the trick-or-treaters scare you coming to your door. We haven't really had too many yet tonight, so I'm surprised I actually got through this video without anybody coming through. 
So anyways, we'll talk to everybody later. I hope everybody has a good Halloween. Uh, don't eat too much candy. And we'll talk to everybody later. Bye.